All right, first up, hey, this year has proven Las Vegas is hungry for sports. And later this month, it's going to a whole new level. Some of the most talented women in basketball hit the court as your Las Vegas Aces kick off their inaugural season right here with the WNBA. That's right here with some of the stars, the Las Vegas Aces, the number one draft pick and power forward, hey. Asia Wilson, all-star center, Kelsey <laughs> Bones, center, Carolyn Swords. It's great having all three of you. How are you? Good. Hey. We're good. Happy is, to be here. Uh, how are you enjoying Vegas so far? When, when did you get into town? About two weeks yeah. ago. Two weeks, two yeah. weeks. Oh I know, my God. Two weeks ago yeah. you got into town and you immediately got like Chipotle for you. I did. <laughs> I did. It was oh, pretty good. Yeah. Place to eat. It was like, pretty good. Oh my God, go for the queso. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. So, so what, what, uh, you've been doing a lot of practicing, I know. What, what else? Have you been able to explore the city a little bit? Yeah, I mean, we've had not had a lot of downtime. We of started off with two a days, um, you know, with a lot of young talent and not, a lot of new faces in the, in the new city. We're trying to get things under wraps, trying to get acclimated and adjusted to one another. So we haven't had a lot of downtime yet, mm -hmm. um, but we'll, we're getting there. Well, we would like to officially welcome you, all three of you. Thank you. And, Thank uh, you. We Thank hope you, you. Uh, go out and explore the city as well. I know you're, you're about, what, six years into your WNBA career. Yes, um, Asia, this is your first year. Yes. Uh, so here in Las Vegas, you are working with coach Bill Lambier. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about you know, what he's like as a coach. Um, Two days well, right away. He starts laughing. <laughs> Two days uh, away. That's how you know. Yeah. Um, I, you know, it's interesting because I had the opportunity to be drafted by Coach Lambier when he was in New York. Um, Carolyn had the opportunity to play for him in New York as well. Oh, okay. um, So we're kind of the two that are familiar with him. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we're kind of the two that we kind of know what to expect a little bit more than others. So we try to help everybody kind of adjust. Um, you know, you see the bad boy persona. You think of Bill Lambier from back in the day. And you get that um, mm -hmm. a lot of mm -hmm. times. You get that sometimes. He's tough. He's very tough. Yeah. He's very okay. intense. Um, he's very demanding, but at the same time, there's a gentle side to him. And you'll, you know, yesterday he came into the gym and he was so excited, and we were all like, uh -oh. Is he okay? What did he have this morning? <laughs> you know, what, what, what kind of night did, you know, what's going on? What did he have this morning? So, you know, we're really excited to, to kind of get to work and have him at the helm of things. And I know Bill's from Boston. You're from Boston. Does yeah. he take it easy on you for that, or does he push you harder? Uh, well, I will say that when I first signed with him uh, in New York, my family was quite nervous about this, so being Celtics fans. <laughs> um, but once I told them, no, I'm learning so much, I, we appreciate as centers Absolutely. and post players having his Absolutely. experience as a post player of course. Mm -hmm. from uh, the playing perspective he's very a very good teacher um, so my family you know they're willing to give him the benefit <laughs> of the doubt now <laughs> <laughs> hey asia so you just came from the university of south carolina yes yeah yes. so fresh out of college your first year in the wnba yeah i heard that you got a special honor though as you left your school yeah yeah after i graduated uh i had the opportunity that my president was just like you know we're going I'm gonna put up a statue of Asia on campus. Ooh! So you know, some people get a diploma. <laughs> I was happy with my I'm, diploma. I'm, I'm nice. When, when you get a statue, do you get to pick your pose, or it's just kind of like right. we're gonna pick your pose? I really hope so. I really get it. I really hope I get a chance to pick it because if my coach has to pick it, it's about to be a mess on campus. No. <laughs> nothing's, nothing's worse than, than a statue with a stupid looking face. <laughs> no. Am I right? Yeah. You gotta get in there and manage that. That's no, what I'm you saying. Gotta see, this is my good side. This is how I want my hair. Come on, trust me. We'll talk yeah. later. Okay. <laughs> uh, you have a, a, a bit of a side business. I do. Tell us about um, your I hair Actually, um, last year I decided to start a hair extension company. Okay. Um, it's Ooh. called Halo Hair. Um, and yeah, it's a Brazilian 100% uh, virgin hair company and that's that's kind of been my little side hustle, uh, so to yeah. speak, in addition to basketball. Well, you know what? All hair extensions are not created equal. They are not, so, and mm. it, it, it matters. It's very important. So it it's something that, um, you know, in playing basketball and living all across the world, um, as basketball players, we don't always have the luxury of sitting in beauty shops all the time. Yeah. For sure. Um, so it's, it's a great addition, it's, it's something, you know, yeah. to switch it up from time to time. So it's something that I've been um, kind of interested in for a while, and it's something that I ventured out and did last year. That's cool. awesome. I yes. love that. And Carolyn, you, you normally you hit the court hard, but you hit the community hard wherever you are as well. You uh, got the Community Assist Award uh, with the WNBA. You're here in Vegas now. You're looking forward to, to getting out there and, and help I the am. community. I am. Cool. We have a really cool opportunity to be the first WNBA team, be part of the inaugural season. Yeah. Um, all WNBA players really feel socially responsible. They want to give mm. back. So I'm really looking forward to connecting in the community. Um, you know, it's going to be a really fun summer. Awesome. Well, we're Great. so happy to have you guys. Congratulations. And like we're four days away. Yeah. Four days away. 
Oh, yeah. this is starting it's soon. Crazy. What the heck are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Their season is coming up. They're going to the East Coast for two games and then back here to play Seattle. Yeah, so. WNBA. All right. Come to the desert. Boom. Seven Thank you guys. This Sunday, Thank as our you. Las Vegas Aces take on those bums in Connecticut. Boo. Then Sunday, May 27th. <laughs> The Aces have their home opener at Mandalay yes. Bay Event Center against the Seattle Storm. Tickets start as low as $17. Season tickets are available. And if you want them, you go to LasVegasAces.com. They're also on Facebook and Twitter, and they have a game in four days.